Welcome back to Irons United for our match review of the game. We've just witnessed West Ham draw 0-0 against Aston Villa at Villa Park, away from home. Would you have taken a point at the start of the game, Dad? No, I wouldn't have taken a point. No, I would have thought we would, uh, we'd win the game. I thought we would actually go there and shine. But uh, 10 men? Yes, take, I think we take, take the point after that? After 10 men, definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know, like... Beforehand, there was a bit of hype that West Ham get the three points. We'd go up to third place. Yeah. But um, like we said, away from home, these are the results that West Ham need to grind out. You know, we've got to show some form of consistency. Mm -hmm. And the consistency is <clears throat> we haven't been beaten since the first well, game of the season. Well, Pellegrini said that at the beginning of the, uh, of the match on his uh, pre-match interview. He was saying really that he wanted to uh, win games like this. You have to win games like this. Yeah. He wasn't putting down Aston Villa, but he was saying that these are the games that uh, West Ham do have to capitalise on. We do have to capitalise on, but we ha I mean, getting mm. a point yeah, is still, still a good. positive. Yeah. Because, again, I don't want to always fall um, in the trap of saying that we would lose. If, this time last year, we would have lost this game. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is consistency is probably our biggest problem over the last five, six, probably West yeah. Ham's life span. So we've played five games. We've got eight points. We sit eighth in the league. Um, I mean, from the first five games in particular, are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and with regards to tonight's game, um, I suppose we can say the last 10 minutes was probably the most entertaining. Yeah, it was, yeah. Um, rather than the rest of the game. But we look at the lineups, no changes from Norwich. That's a no brainer. Yep. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Um, and, but unfortunately, nothing really happened. But, and, and in actual fact, you'd probably say that the first half, we played, would you say we played the better football? Well, good football. I thought we had some really good moves in the first half, yeah. Just couldn't finish. That yeah. was our point there. <laughs> we just couldn't get in that box to, to finish it off. We didn't really create too much chances for like Not Sebastian no. there, but... A good good interplay, some yeah. good, good moves. Yeah, and, and, and there was one particular move, yeah. I think they clocked it, they played yeah, out from they, the back, yeah, and then they moved forward, yeah. and it was actually really nice to see yeah, West was, Ham yeah. playing that style of football. Yeah. But in particular, it wasn't great, but we were causing problems, and we were yeah. causing problems for Villa's defence because they were fighting each other head each yeah, other yeah I know that was, that was um, quite exciting and we probably should have maximised that yeah to be honest but we yeah. probably didn't um, but well they were in disarray at that point yeah and uh, we just did, we just didn't uh, you know as you say capitalise on that uh, that uh, headbutt offence but in the first half in particular <clears throat> because Aston Villa had the better chances the main man again kept us in that game Fabianski yeah. I would say so with that question couple of great, yeah, couple did, of great yeah. saves he made in that the first big half big boy Wesley was a, he was, he was a handful up front as, as was uh Halla for us. Yeah. But, uh, Wesley was good and, that, and he had a good chance there as well. Yeah. They could have gone one up there. But uh, other than that, it was Fabianski that just, I think, really just Saved kept us, us in that first half. Definitely, yeah, without question. Uh, second half, West Ham didn't make any changes. Villa made a change and it, it kind of worked out for them all right. Mm -hmm. But it was kind of more of the same, to be honest. It was... Uh, uh, just it was, it was open game. It was a decent game. It, it, it wasn't, wasn't the best game, game yeah, but yeah. it was, wasn't the worst game. I think one, once Villa started to attack in that second half, it meant that uh, it gave us a bit of a chance with the ten men because they really went, they really went for it. I think yeah. in the second half, didn't they? Yeah, they just couldn't penetrate. They, both defenses, I think, even on on, uh, on TV tonight, the commentators were saying, I think I have to agree with them. Both the defenses played well tonight. Yeah, and 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 got the best of the got the got the better of the attacking uh, um, players. A couple of incidences that we didn't mention in the first half was that I felt like Mike Dean became quite booking happy. Yeah, yeah. He just brought the yellow card out really yeah. early. So um, Mark Noble got a yellow card really yeah, early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Masawaku got the yellow card, but he deserved the first yellow card. Yeah, so there's not, no not the it, second. But not the second. And no. this is where we're going now with the second half. Mike Dean, I, I just don't know what was going through his head because to me, there was, even if there was even ever it so was a slight. Mind you. But, he, but I don't even know if there was. No. And if there was slight minute contact, yeah. that definitely wasn't a second yellow no, card. No, no. Um, and, 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 and that ruined the game for us, really, in, in as much as that we... Well, it didn't totally ruin it for us because we played well after it, but mm. it, we just still have to uh, go on defensive mode and in the last 10, 15 minutes, just defend to get that point. Yeah, and right. I think that's... And, and you're right there, actually. You made a valid point. I mean, in theory, it should ruin the game and it kind of does. It ruins West Ham's attack and style. But what it did do was open up Aston Villa's defence yeah, and we clocked yeah. onto it yeah. both down the flanks they weren't they had no players there and West Ham were starting to attack those flanks yeah. um, and, and, and we were gaining chances and we had chances in we the had chances half. but you, we couldn't expect like 
Haller to, even though he is a front man, and uh, but he was totally isolated in the end there. Yeah, in the end. He, 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 they had to defend, and that was yeah, it to get the point. Yeah, absolutely. But we did have a couple of chances Good near chances, the end there. Yeah. Um, Fredericks ran through on yeah, goal. He did. The yeah, defender, I mean, no contact, no penalty, no, VAR no, no, reviewed it. No, it. No. Um, no, no contact. But the thing that annoys you me the most... You made that you thought he should yeah. have got up. Yeah, well, if you, if you actually watch the replay where Fredericks goes down... He actually goes down and the keeper still doesn't get to the ball. It's like everyone's concentrating on whether they're going to give the penalty or not. Mm, yeah. Fredericks has well than enough more time to get up and collect that ball. So mm. when you do watch the replay, have a look at that. That's an yeah. interesting point. And then straight after that, we, they had a chance and I their did. player went down, yeah. which VAR deemed no penalty, which yeah. wasn't a penalty. No. And then we went back up the other end and the ball went out to Fornals. Yeah. And I don't and know he, what, he just know played he it to no. the defender. No, I know. He was on the wing at the edge of the box and no. it was a perfect chance probably to shoot mm -hmm. or to hold up play, wait for more players to come in but uh -huh. he just passed it to them but all in no no another point off the off the back um of an away game um i've just said to you there we've played five games we've got eight points especially after the start of the season getting beat or smashed five nil by man city yeah we, we've got to take that as west ham fans surely yeah well, i think so uh, disappointing because obviously you want to win as many games as you possibly can you want to be sitting in the top be nice to say yeah we're sitting third but we're not and up next, we have Manchester United at home. Um, what, is, what does Pellegrini do? Because Masawaku's missing, so Creswell oh, steps back in. Yeah, oh, I think so, yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, Yarmolenko had a quiet game today. Yeah, quiet, yeah, yeah. And he, he kind of, uh, he was trying a few flicks and bits and pieces there, but they didn't come off tonight. Yeah, but it's funny because he... Keeps... And Anderson, I thought, it played well. Yeah. I, I thought he, he, he's, he's a bit of trickery played well. And yeah. I thought he was good. But I suppose he kind of fall, fell... Custom to the, the, the substitution no, after Master Wagon. And in actual fact, yeah. what's interesting is I found that to not be the greatest of substitutions because he holds the ball and yeah. attacks. Yeah. And in actual fact, I think you want to be... If there's a chance of us getting a point, it would come from... Or three points, it would come from that angle, yeah. from Anderson. So mm -hmm. I was kind of disappointed he came off. But like we said at the start, after now looking at it as a whole, 10 men, we played, what, 35 minutes with 10 men? Yeah. And we come out 0-0, We've not conceded a goal. No, that's important. important. Fabianski to thank for that. Fabianski to thank for that. And to be fair, Diop a couple of times Diop, he yeah, yeah, kicks well. in that as well. And yeah. Obona, fair play. I thought yeah. he nearly scored yeah. that header of an own goal. Yeah. But, um, you know, another <laughs> clean sheet, two clean sheets in yeah. a row, four points out of the two games, you know, eight points Quite in five. happy with that. Yep, you? happy we'll take that. Yeah, yeah. take Good. that. Make sure you get your comments in below. Let us know your thoughts on what we have said. Do you agree with the Masuaku sending off? We don't. Um, unfortunately, he misses one game suspension. Apparently, VAR can't turn over a yellow card sending off two yellow cards. Um, let us know your thoughts on Frederick's incident, what I mentioned there. Do you think he had time to get up? And the four nows. And, um, and yeah, are you happy with the point? What's your thoughts on our season so far? Get the comments in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've been Anton. He's been my dad. Come on, you irons. Honey, irons.